Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. Okay, today's workout is a combination of arms. We're gonna hit biceps, triceps, shoulders, and then a little bit of active rest or cardio to kick things up. Your format will be 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between, so a nice quick transition today. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout, so grab those, and we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. All right, are you ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. Okay, maybe strength on the watch today. Let's start with a light, nice arm circle here. Get things warmed up, ready to go, switch directions. I like a good focus on arms, especially when my legs are sore, which they are right now, switch sides. Henceforth, we're going all arms. But a nice long workout like this, switch directions, helps to put some good overload on all of the heads of the biceps, triceps, and shoulders, all right? All right, reach across. Biceps, you got the two heads, but three muscles, brachialis, long head, and short head. Tricep has three heads, of course, so different exercises target different parts. Reach up, and the shoulders have those three as well, anterior, medial, and posterior deltoid. So we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> this is what we do, and we're gonna do it today. Let's circle both at the same time. Switch directions. Good, feet shoulder width. Reach low, reach high and up to the tiptoes. One more here, and take it wide. Toes are out, open in the chest. Good, reach across, oh yeah. And let's just finish with some heel digs. I know you thought that was the finish. <laughs> I just messed up. The order, I normally do that as our finisher. Sometimes I'm just keeping you on your toes. Myself as well. Two more here. Last one here. All right, very good. There's the first circuit, are you ready? Let's do it. Starting with biceps, I'm gonna grab my 15s. Hit that hammer curl, you can go a little bit lighter to start. Knees are soft, shoulders back. And we curl right here, elbows are in. Pull it up and flex at the top. Last one here. I'm gonna hold my 115 for that skull crusher up and over. Elbows are close to the ears, knees are soft. Here we go, and we press and flex. Straighten your arms at the top. Good.
I'm grabbing 12s for my high pull combo. Single, single, double, high pull. Shoulders back. Do a single, other side. Now together. Good, stick your chest out. Single, single, double here. Boom. Setting those down, moving right into the cardio. We're gonna do two knees, two frogs. There's your low impact, if you'd like. Back to the top, sticking the 15s for my hammer. Shoulders back, knees are soft. And into my skull crusher. Up and over. High pull, holding 12s, roll the shoulders back, stick your chest out, single here, other side, double now. Don't pull it up too high, okay? And into that frog. Two knees, two frogs. Low impact if you like. Kick it up.
103. All right. The muscles are starting to feel this. Hammer here. Your skull crush. I'll stick with 15. Normally I would lift heavier if I were doing a shorter rep range, but for around the 15 or 20 reps, I'm closer to 20 actually. Just want a little bit lighter. Going for that higher rep range, but still trying to fatigue it when I'm at the end of my reps. Okay, I want to get close to fatigue. Very nice. Definitely was with that weight amount, so that was perfect. I pull here. Let's finish off with that cardio. Then we'll switch up the exercises. Two knees, two frogs. All right, quick water break, nice little breather. Grab your weights and join back. I'll stick with the 15s for my pinwheel curls. Shoulders back, stick your chest out, knees are soft. We curl and cross, and we're flexing the bicep at the top, and you're making sure that wrist is locked and neutral. Don't let it bend back. It's important, you don't want carpal tunnel in the wrist. Flex. I'll be grabbing eights for my single double tricep kickback. All right, single side, single side, then together, hinge at the waist. Single here, single here, now double, up. All right, if you're using lighter weights, you can even do that slight pause at the top. Pause and down. Don't swing at the bottom and keep your elbow up. Does target a little bit of rear delt here, just having to hold those elbows up. But also tricep as well. I'm 
Good, I'm gonna stick with these eights for my lateral raises. Shoulders back, knees are soft. We're popping out to the side. Pop it here, and then down. Up, good. So even a slight pause at the top. Okay, again, depends on how heavy you're lifting. Going into that burpee. All right, you can walk this out to mod or stay up tall and just do a jack if you don't want to do a burpee at all. Let's work. You could also modify that by putting your hands up on a surface, okay? I use the push-up handles to support my wrists. Curl it here. to your tricep kickback. Single, single, double with my eights. Hinge at the waist. Single. Other side single, double here. Neutral neck, just looking at the ground just below you or in front of you. Good, and to your laterals. I'm gonna stick with eights right now, but I think I'll go to tens next round. Just slow the action down. Again, volume's higher here, so while I might do 12, 10 pounds for 12 reps, if I'm increasing my range, I could have to lift according to that. No bobbing in the body. That's why sometimes we do this seated to eliminate any knee bob. So stay still. Last, boom. All right, burpees. Mod if you need.
Round three. Okay. Can we all hear? I'm grabbing tens for the kickback. Hinge at the waist, elbows up. Single, single, double. Your elbow up. Boom. Mm. All right, laterals, I'll use my tens. I'll slow down. These are soft. And into that burpee. Shake it out. Here we go. Nice, quick water break. Grab your weights for the next circuit. Whew, catch your breath. Grabbing those 12s for my bicep curl. Iso hold, one hand is holding, the other one is working. I'll call half, knees are soft. So we curl up to the top and all the way down. All right, little isometric contraction with my left hand here. Good, and that just keeps tension on your muscle, which helps recruit more muscle fibers. So it's excellent. One more here. Good, and set it at half, and other hand works. I'll take these 12s down to the ground, and we're gonna get into that tricep press with an overhead extension. So we'll make our way right down after this. Perfect. Palms are facing each other. We're gonna press up to the ceiling and then back in that tricep. I'm popping the hips into bridge. Press it up, back, up, and down to the ground. Arms stay close to the body.
Stay down here for shoulders with that seated single side press. Nice. All right, up into a V-sit. Feet on the ground to modify. I'll call half and we'll switch hands. You're here and we press. Good, press. Elbow comes to 90 degrees here. Last one on this side and switch your side. Up and press. <sighs> nice. All right, center jack, side squat for your cardio. Modify with the center jack, side squat right there. Sticking with 12s for the ISO hold. Shoulders back. Hold it at half. Switch sides. Make sure the wrist is locked in neutral again. back, tricep press extension, palms facing, press it to the ceiling and back, ceiling and down. Okay, let's go into your seated shoulder press. I'll stick with the 12 and I'll call half. Nice and tall and we press. 90 degrees press. Whew. Switch aside, whoo, that's fire. I think I got 11 in. I'll aim for that on this side. Nice. Let's go into our cardio. Make sure your weights are not in the way. Center jack, side squat.
All right, last round. Stick your chest out here. Full range on that working arm. All right, switching sides. Take her down. Take her down. <laughs> On your back. Palms facing, in bridge if you want. Press it up, back, up and down. Sit press. Sticking with the 12. Here we go. Switching sides. to cardio. Whew. Here we go. All right, quick water rest, last circuit coming up. All right, this round we're gonna do combination moves using multiple muscles. We're gonna start with the curl reverse grip press. I'll hold 12s for that. Mm, it's gonna be whatever you can press probably. Palms face the ceiling, curling at the same time. And we curl, watch your chin and press. I'm moving to my tens for my single overhead tricep extension with my front raise. I'll call half and then we'll switch. You're here, tricep here, now front raise here. Tricep here and front raise here. Core is stable, don't use momentum to help you up. Good. All right, switching sides.
Come back to the 12s for my squat curl press. Add a little squat in there. White stance, King Kong. Drop it low, low curl. Press right there. into cardio. I'm gonna do a center squat, diagonal hop or tap for low impact. Squat and jump right here. Squat and jump right there. And moving back into our curl press, holding those 12s again. Palms face the ceiling, knees are soft. Holding those tens again. One tricep, one front raise. Over the head, front raise here. Body is still. Switch sides. into your squat curl press. Go oh, King Kong, white stance. Drop it low. Curl, press, elbows in. Moving into cardio. Center squat, diagonal hop. Jump in the middle if you like.
three. Sticking with 12. Palms up. Elbows in. Head, knee soft, boom, and front. Triceps a bit harder than the front raise for me. That's good though. All right, switching sides. Straighten your arm at the top. Some of that ugly shoulder face here. Boom. No. Okay, uh, King Kongs. Wide stance. Last cardio, folks. Whew. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna do the center jump here. Jump it here, diagonal. Jump it here, diagonal. Land light. In three, two, one and done. Ah, yeah. You move daily. Your bicep, tricep, shoulder workout with cardio. Walk it out. Bring your heart rate down and join me for a stretch if you can. Very good. Let's make our way down to the ground. I'm going to go into a glute stretch on the ground here. Cross a leg over, reach through, and draw that knee in. You can also push away your knee for a nice little increased stretch or put your foot on the wall or a bench and push against it. That's a great way to increase the depth there. Ha! Huh. Well, that workout was a little bit broken up for me. I'm in the middle of developing this app. Kim and I are working on an app, which is great, but it's also like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm like a fish out of water and have no idea. And that sort of overwhelm makes me want to throw in the towel at times. I'm just like, okay, forget it. We're not, go I can't grow because I don't know how. That's not the right solution. <laughs> Let's bring the leg straight. Quentin and Kim keep telling me that we only have to go through this part once. Like the original setup is just once. And once you have that under your belt, then it's just, then it can run and that will be better for growth. And like, it's funny, cause you just want to fight against the thing that will help you grow. Oh, isn't that profound? <laughs> Tracy, listen to your words, child. 
Uh, yeah, I do. I want to fight against it because it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable for me not knowing how to do it. So then I don't want to do it. And then I just want to stay small. <laughs> but I don't want to stay small in my true self. I actually do want to grow in this company. Let's put our feet on the ground, legs to the side, right? I do want to do that. So I have to do the things that are uncomfortable and I have to do the things that are challenging and hard for me. And in the middle of that, I have to stay in the pocket. So I got to wake up in the morning with a determination just to do that. <laughs> but I said to Kim, I want you to speak to me like I'm eight. Okay, tell me what to do. And then, <laughs> then she went through the list of things that I'm supposed to do and she color coded it. Yellow means Tracy to task. Green means Kim has it. Red means whatever. And I'm like, oh, so you really are talking to me like I'm eight. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, it is actually, that helps me so much because now I didn't feel near as overwhelmed because there's just so much information, right? They're like, you have to have an Apple Pay, this, that. You have to do Google so people can download the app. And I'm like, I don't know how to do any of that. But <laughs> now that it's color coded, it's easier. So when you are stuck and uncomfortable, asking for help is good. Having those come alongside you who can support you in whatever it is that you are endeavoring to grow in is good. These are the things I'm learning. Aren't you glad that I <laughs> have struggles too so that I can share what I'm learning? Mercy, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's not not a lot, but I guess at the end of the day, it'll make it more efficient for everyone and that is the goal. But also, it will make it smoother and more efficient for me. It will be easier for me. And uh, that is the growth process. No, I think no matter what we're learning, no matter what we're struggling through, um, you can get through it and it's just one step at a time. So that was my lesson today. I'm grateful for those who can come alongside and encourage because I need that too. I just can't do it on my own. I'm learning that. All right. Thanks for joining. Go move daily now in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.